first thing you need to do is figure out where exactly the palm of your hand is going to be touching the hot surface. Now unless you've gone ahead and dipped your hand in acid or something like that, which would be a very different burn, your whole hand isn't going to be covered. So just to be sure, maybe put your hand down on a cold surface so that you can feel where exactly the surface is going to be touching your fingers and then get something like a lip liner and then you're going to outline that area. Then after that I'm going to be using one of the Ben Nye wheels and I'm going to be starting off with the lightest colour and you want to speckle this on the hand. It mustn't be even because if you look at a burn you're going to get areas which are lighter, more pinker and then other areas which are more red. So once we've applied more of that pinky salmon colour we're going to be taking that bright red and we're going to be putting that around the edges at first and then over that larger area on my palm that's when you're going to start speckling the colour again. Now the, one of the things that you should do if you're using a cream is don't use natural hair fibres. A, it's going to wreck the brush, it's also going to be a nightmare to wash. So if you can use something which is synthetic, it really will save you so much hassle later on. Make sure that you also apply quite a bit of red on the creases of the hand. The next part is optional but it does add to the gross factor which as you know I quite like. So I'm going to be using some simulated skin effects. If you don't have this you can use those transparent peel off face masks. It's going to do pretty much exactly the same thing but it means that later on you can peel this off and it's going to look like your hand is actually peeling away and it's very good for putting someone off their dinner. If you don't want to do that just go ahead and skip to the next part. What I'm going to be using is a dermaflage applicator but if you don't have that what you can also use is scar wax, you can also use sculpt gel and you want to apply this around the edges. Now the product I'm using dries pretty quickly. That's very good if you're a little bit tight for time but it's not so good if you want to take a little bit more time blending out the edges so you do have to work quite quickly with this. So I'm going to be applying this all around those red parts obviously on the palm of the hand. Now on the palm of the hand because the skin there is a little bit thicker I'm going to be applying quite a few layers. Also I want to get the edges to look quite raggedy as well. So I'm going to apply, blend out, apply, blend out and on some parts I did this maybe three times and then once that's dried I'm going to be taking that red colour and then reapplying it just closer to the edges where I want to make it look even worse than it already does. One more thing I'm going to be doing to the silicone though is I don't want it to look so shiny so I'm going to be taking a translucent powder and just going over that. I want the red areas to look all irritated and shiny and raw, I don't want the palm of the hand to look raw. The last thing I'm going to do is add some fake sweat on top of all of that. If you don't have some fake sweat what you can use is Vaseline or lip gloss, it's going to have a similar effect. And this is what I mean about the extra gross factor, you know, the perfect kind of trick to show at the dinner table, just to really test how hungry people really are.